uh, in this video I'll be explaining how M1, M2 and M3, how blocks M1, M2 and M3, uh, how to find acceleration of M1, M2 and M3. Mm. By use, uh, this is actually the system of three pull, two pulleys with three masses, and how how to solve this this system is it would be the question, and uh, how to find the acceleration of the system will be the question. So how to do it? So we're getting ahead. First, you have to find the acceleration relation between M one, uh, M one, M two, and M three. That will be the that will be our main aim. We have to find the acceleration between M1, M2, and M3. So how are you gonna do it? So we have to find to find the acceleration between M1, M2, and M3. We have to first use the slack method. Slack method, which is quite easy. It's kind of common sense method. We just we have to find the acceleration of this M1, M2, and M3. So we have to give us this slack by x. We have to move this pulley by down by x. We have to assume that it is moved by down distance x. So we're gonna get we are going to get a slack of x here and a slack of x here so ultimately with the, there will be a slack of x x and we can write something like this x1 plus x2 is equal to 2x okay and then and then you're going to move this m3 m3 by x okay right so which is x3 which is x3 i mean which will ultimately i mean it will not move i mean if it i'm saying it moves by x that means m3 will move by x if you if you move this by x this pulley down by x so ultimately or uh, m3 will move by x right so that's 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 common sense so so m3 will move by x so you're gonna write like something like x3 is equal to x so that means x1 plus x2 is equal to 2x and x3 equal to x so which is which is that's what i've written it here so you so you get a relation if you solve this you're going to really get relation something like this x1 plus x2 is equal to 2x3 Okay, and if you differentiate twice, you're gonna get something like this. You're gonna get something like this. So, so now, now how we're gonna get ahead? Now, how we're gonna get ahead is the, will be the question, and that is that what we are gonna be, we have been concentrating is like now we have to write equation for m two, m one, and m three equations equations of forces using law, newton's laws of motions so you're gonna write this m2g minus t equal to m2a2 and m1g minus t equal to m1a1 for the block m1 and for the block m2 you're gonna write this this so so and for for the for the block m3 for the block m3 you're gonna write something like this 2t equal to m3 a3 that's what i'm gonna write so now how to get further ahead how to get further ahead it will be the question so now you you ultimately when you solve this three four equations when you when you go solve this four equations you're gonna get something like this a3 value you're gonna get something like this so now the question would be how will you solve these two equations? So I will give a clue uh, how to solve it is you have to you have to multiply this by m one. I have to multiply this by m two, and then you're gonna add it, and then you're gonna add equation one and equation two. So in the RHS you're gonna get something like this something like this something like m1 m2 m2 common with a2 plus a1 
1 so you can replace this this equation this this by by 2 a3 that's what you're gonna get in RHS when you add this both and you're gonna get um, 2t uh, here on the LHS when you're gonna add this so which would be equal to m3 a3 and ultimately you'll be getting this uh, m a3 as this this and then after that it's quite easy where you to get uh, the a2 and a1 you to just put this m3 a by a3 by 2 here and you're gonna get this in the t equal to m3 by a3 by 2 oh and then then you can just uh, substitute 4 uh, then you can sub just substitute this a3 here and ultimately you will get the value of a2 and similarly the same thing you can do it here too same thing you can do it here too and ultimately you get the value of a1 so it's it's that's quite uh, that's quite easy to solve and it so this big this makes it quite easy to solve the and find out the accelerations of a1 a2 and a3 uh, thank you I would like my viewers to subscribe for this channel uh, I it would be really encouraging for me if you subscribe for this channel and also I would like to read comments by the viewers so uh, I want the viewers to subscribe for my channel I would make this place a place where physics learning would be fun and free.